My name is Chandler Squires and I'm part of the Clinical Machine Learning Group. I work with David Sontag and Carolyn Uller, and our goal is to improve precision medicine and biological understanding by advancing the fields of causality and machine learning. I'm currently working on methods to predict treatment outcomes more accurately when using small amounts of data. While big data has led to lots of incredible successes in machine learning, like image recognition or playing Go, the reality in healthcare is that we typically have to work with much smaller amounts of data. We might only have data from hundreds or maybe thousands of patients with a certain disease, rather than millions of images or billions of gameplays in these other fields. To overcome this data scarcity, it becomes really important to somehow tie data from different sources together in a principled way. We're working on methods to integrate data from different sources using ideas from causal inference. One of the most important notions in the field of causal inference is that much of the variation between how systems behave in the world can be explained by variation in specific subsystems, while the rest of the structure is more stable from system to system. Our methods will try to leverage these commonalities between different systems to integrate data from all of them into a single picture. While we're coming to this thinking of applications to healthcare, where small data sets and complex causal mechanisms are very common, we expect these methods to be useful for many applications. For instance, in autonomous driving, each car might have some idiosyncrasies that make the data it collects slightly different from the data collected by other cars. But the data should still have enough common structure that we can use it to develop better predictors and thus achieve better outcomes, like fewer collisions. We also think that these methods will have lots of use for basic science research, like chemistry or physics, where certain types of experiments may be very costly to perform. So again, in these fields, small data with common structures is prevalent. This has been a rewarding project to think about so far. At this point, we've really been focused on developing methods and gaining insight into how different techniques from causality and machine learning can come together to enable better predictions on small data sets. As we go on, I'd like to close the circle and get back to healthcare applications like individualized cancer treatment strategies. The Clinical Machine Learning Group has excellent clinical collaborators that we can work with to bring these methods from an academic paper to clinical practice.